Alrighty, I am Indiben and welcome back to some Star Drive 2, the game of empire building and kicking ass. Alright, so in the last episode, we did in fact beat some uh, crystalline uh, galaxy suckers, and um, we did finish researching pulse cannons and mass drivers, holy crap. That's loud. Oh, Max volume is never good when it jumps out at you. Mass rivals and well life bulb. <laughs> okay. So, aside from that, um, I think we're fine. We uh, are going to have some better troops. And before I forget, I want to upgrade them. Because I always forget and I hate that. The heck? What is that? I've never seen that before. Okay, so. Do that. Rail rifle. Let's give them the heavy armor and a deployable shield. Perfect. That's going to be a new loadout. Doesn't matter what it's called. Use your own imagination. Damn it. Fill it out yourself. And we'll upgrade all of them to that. It'll let us um, shoot through people and do a lot more damage. It'll also let us uh, take less damage and be able to deploy shields. Hence them being called deployable shields. Okay, now for the big one. Shields. Absolutely need them. And uh, since Earth is not super important to us right now, we're going to do this. Cut down our time almost in half. Super important. And we'll also get the Imperial University. Can we rush it? Almost. So we're going to bring that up to the top. And once we get that, uh, we'll be able to research in probably like a third of the time or something like that. Something good. Let's take a look. We'll rush it. And boom, dropped it down. A whole bunch. It's very good. And hopefully we can also drop down a farmer. Perfect. And as soon as we get shields, we're going to make new versions of all our ships. Trust me. Trust me on that one. You can take it from the hoth of mouth. Okay. So, uh, we're just going to keep going. Hopefully fight, perform an invasion on Persia. Very important because it does have two artifacts, which is just amazing. Plus two research per scientist throughout the empire because of that. After we've done, yeah, that's right. And then I will just get a ton of monies afterwards. And I think this is this should be repairing. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think it is. Keep going. Okay, sweet. So we should have a lot of production right here. Seventeen from the one dude. Awesome. Good job, dude. He's very productive. Uh, ooh, creak chair. And uh, hopefully we can just start making a construction ship. We use that construction ship to uh, probably... I don't know. Maybe make a refueling base. Probably not, though. Listening post right on the border. That's probably the best use of our stuff, because especially since we've got these crystalline cocksuckers uh, coming in and getting all up in our grill... We want to be able to see them coming. Um, we want to stay on their good side. They kind of don't love us because we didn't. Ref we refused to pay them tribute. Well, they asked, so it's their fault. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and have a single payment. Just give me all your money, and that'll suffice. Because I have so much technology, I can basically give it away for cheap. Um, hmm. Yeah, colony maintenance is going up because of our stuff there but hopefully okay now what now we can yeah yeah you know what i mean now can we cut <sighs> all right let's do trade goods for now it'll give us a bunch and then if i need to build anything else i'll just go there okay in the meantime we're gonna go ahead flop right on the border speed through that make a little bit of a little bit of cash Excellent. Are you kidding me? That's very excellent. Uh, we'll go to our shipyard promptly and make a new missile frigate. Missile cruiser, rather. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, not systems, but defenses. And we can also afford to... Here, let's just scrap the whole thing. Alright, class 1 shields. Use a large one right there. Systems. 
put one of these. And now it, it doesn't have as much space there, but we're saving all the space on, on armor plating. I'm not going to put any in. What's the point? Uh, let's make one that's sort of a good brawler. Let's see, range. So those are short range, but these ones are a bit longer range. I hate that they added the damage drop off. They used to, they used to be so great at long range, but now they're just pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's use plasma cans. No, maybe. Yeah, it's probably fine. Uh, I don't think we have many enemies with shields at all at this stage in the game. And I don't think they use... Oh, shoot, they do use ammo, it looks like. But anyway, we're just going to pop some of these down. Come on, there we go. And now we, we are going to need... We have our engines. Do that. That. And gonna have to do something like that and so we can't afford to not have any power obviously that goes without saying Jesus. anyway uh, we're gonna do that we're gonna have some capacitors some capacitators there there is it one of those put up some a couple of these that'll give us some more that strengthy stuff and we'll go ahead and put some rockets on the inside it'll use more ammo but I think it's worth it give us some long-range uh, heavy hitting missiles and we can still fit in some ammo so 105 you know could be better probably replace that and see what it looks like 118 you know could be better um, Let's see, what could we do? Well, if we replace two of those with those and replace these like so, we can retain that, get some more ammo, probably more even. Let's try that, take a look. All right, perfect, that'll do it. Let's call this one the Shielded Warrior. <laughs> Warrior Mark 1. It'll just be our line of ships that are just, you know, have shields and tend to be like up close and personal. Now, here's what we need to do. We need to take this guy, turn him into a shielded warrior. Refit. Let's see how long that takes. Should be at Earth immediately. Okay, and what do we need now? Well, since we are preparing for a raid on Pierzia. Let's do the polymer armor. It's going to be really important. Nope. <laughs> Pop in there. Missile cruiser is going to take 32 turns. That one's going to take 38. I think it's worth it to get the missile cruiser refitted as fast as we can. As for over here, we still have a copious amount of production. It's being used there. Let's uh, use that to make a shield warrior, which only takes 11 turns, which is nice. Making no money, but also losing no money, which is important. Now we're losing one, which is bad. But, Trilithia. What does that do for me? I think it's speed, but, you know, I'm not going to trade that, silly boy. Okay, perfect, so we got that. Polymer armor, nice. That was actually really fast, I forgot that we had that upgrade. I forgot in a couple of minutes, it's silly. There we go. Um, the orbital habitat. That's going to be really good. Oh, cannot build on asteroid fields. Bam. Asteroid superstructure. That works even better. Let's do that. It'll only take us 18 turns. It'll let us build more population over here, which is great because it means more production. Which in turn means more money and more military. So, I'm down for that. Um, we'll bring it over to the UNESO belt, or whatever the, they want to call it. We'll bring it there for staging. Core World Pride. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Meet up with him. And he's back to trade goods. How's he losing? Ah, you know what the problem is, I think. We're not trading with them. If you trade with people, your trade goods go further. Shoot. Hmm. We want that. If we give them 
Nope, not gonna work. Let's give them a technology. Something that's not gonna be great. Astromagics, that's gonna be good for them. Plasma fuel cells. <laughs> Doesn't really matter too much. I don't think those are very good. Let's just do that trade. But it means that we are should be not losing as much money. What the what the deuce? Treaties. Trade right small. Plasma fuel cells. Yeah, confirm the deal. There we go. I'm not sure why it didn't earlier, but whatever. Research leader inspired by tech. What does this do? Ooh, that's good too. Every time you discover new technology. And I think since we have created, we'll discover it a lot faster. Oh, we have to reject him now. But it, it's going to tell me that we can still hire him. Hotkey F2. All right. That's what we're saving up for. We want that guy. We want him bad. So I'm going to go ahead and bring our shielded warriors up here to Persia. Phase Crusher. There's only one huge Crusher. Or maybe there's two. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure we can take him. These, this is a strong ship model here. Let's fight him. I'm pretty sure we can do this. Unless we run out of ammo. But don't jinx it. That would suck. So they are traveling together, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that some of them would be faster than others. Um, we'll have these guys keep moving, and we'll have them all attack one of the huge crushes. We should be able to destroy them pretty quickly. But, oh, wait a minute, aren't these really powerful? Just... How is this? Okay, I don't think they're that powerful, actually. What? Oh, that's the... Pulse cannons or whatever they are. That's strong. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad at all. I did not realize that they were that strong. Oh, those are just the little guys. Darn it. <laughs> Although he's not doing so hot. He's very unhealthy. Although, another thing to remember, though, is that we have some crappy hull armor. In fact, none is more accurate. Although, he should be dead before he can take down our shields. I hope. Alright, great. And, that's game, set, match. Sweet, so we've got one that's a... Both of them are level 2 now, they're stronger. Um, damage reduction, that's good. And, missile damage, also very good. So these guys are getting stronger. That's the nice thing about having one big fleet, is they'll have a lot of battles, get really strong. Hmm. Okay. So let's just move up. No, we won't declare war on them. And yes, we will be prepared. Talk. He looks weird. <laughs> okay, let's see. I can't buy a rug. Plus, I don't think they really do anything. But, um... Planet event. Cool. Yeah, we can totally uh, grab that planet. Although I'm pretty sure that those guys are very good at fighting. And there's a couple of the crystalline fleet. How long is it going to take? ETA is when? Doesn't tell us. Yeah, that's just real polite of you not to tell me. Okay, good, they won. Perfect, that's good. Alright, exactly what I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and pop that right in here. Asteroid superstructure. It's gonna cost us two in maintenance, but I think it's gonna I think it's gonna pay itself off. For when we're doing trade goods. Um biospheres, same sort of thing. We can get even more, but I think it's better to uh Let's see. Get started on those. It's gonna go pretty fast. Might as well get the tech. Oh, and what are we going there for? We already did that. So let's just uh, stand there. Um, and let's. Okay, good. These are all set. Let's go ahead and 
launch all of our troopers. The troopers are coming in. Ten percent tribute. What are you mad? No, instead we'll give you credits. Hundred. That's nice, and it should keep us keep them off our backs for a little while. Okay, cool. Some more research, fusion power, and fusion engines. Those are a must. Definitely a must. Cool, more money. I think that's from all the farmers at Earth. So, let's make sure that we are producing something worthwhile here. Okay. Um, I think that worthwhile thing would be more habitat. Although, since we do have more farmers, we can afford to drop a few more down into science. They can just basically pour acid onto each other. That's what science is, in case you guys knew. Did or did not knew. Did not knew. What am I talking about? My speech is impeded a mint. Let's get there. Ooh. This will be a challenge. What? Come on, I want it. I want to mouse over. I think we're going to have to cancel that and bring in a couple more troops. Maybe. What are they going to get here? Actually, no. Different idea. Let's go ahead and design ourselves a ship. This should go well. Let's make ourselves a bomber. Okay. Here, so for the bomber, doesn't matter too much. Basically, we just want nuclear bombs. Not super sure what the difference is. We'll just get a bunch of tactical nukes. to do the trick. Although, wait, I think it tells you the difference here. Strategy. Okay, so they cause radiation, which sucks. Might not actually be a good idea then. Never mind. Scratch that. Can't afford to cause ourselves radiation. So instead... We will just wait for what? Ah, that's right. Forgot. But what I think we want to do is go here, get this, get the anomaly, and we'll grab advanced warp theory, making us faster. And the subspace projectors is a nice little thing we can build. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Speaking of subspace projectors, do that, which has a nice chunky sensor range. Perfect. So let's check out the. Uh, so it's going to be 84 turns till we upgrade, which is horrifyingly slow. Um, but I guess it's like eventually going to get there. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for now. So we'll set up. Oh, come on, trade agreement. No, I'm not giving you my trilithium. Golly. Okay, come on. Go to the explored anomaly. Come on. What am I doing wrong? Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to send our fleet over here. Say hi to the space bears. Make a treaty with them. Sweet. And of course, a bunch of remnants. What else would it be? So let's zap out of there. And uh, head back there. Okay. And we do have another upgrade. Or science. We have another science. Uh, I think we can spend that on... Mm. Mm. Imperial Bank, that one's good. I'll take some pressure off of us in terms of money. Okay. 
We'll reject her. Oh, that's right. Leaders. Ah, shoot, yeah. We missed the science guy. Bill Nye the science guy. We, we missed him. That makes me sad. Oh. What? 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 Science University at Earth. Uh, uh hell yes. Hell yes, please. Um, wait. So, what did we do with that asteroid? <laughs> Study it. Okay, good. You can crank that out pretty quick, I think. Six turns. Uh, yes, please. We'll do that. There we go. Still six turns, but this way we're getting a tiny bit of pause and stuff there. Okay. Ooh, that's right. I forgot about that that buddy right there. Hopefully they don't have shields. If they do, then. Which they don't, luckily. They have fusion beams, which are kind of tough. And all this solar armor makes me a little nervous. Now the frigates. <laughs> we fought those guys before. They are uh, child's play. So many of them. Okay, this shouldn't be difficult at all. I know we only have two, but we do have shields. Which are just the bee's knees. Okay, actually, we'll try to fight them here on the planet. Or the, on the asteroids, so that hopefully we can... Like, you know. Of course, maybe you don't know. Hopefully we can fight alongside our uh, thingy-majig. Okay, I do that. State credits. 45 ought to do it. I'm, most of the reason I'm trading with them is because if I don't trade with them, they get mad at me. And they're technologists. Okay, so we have to do that. It's probably worth it, too. I don't know what that is. Now they've got a lot more planets than we do. Pretty much everyone does, I guess. Food shortage at Earth? No way. Okay, so we'll do that, and now we will no longer have a food shortage, but I'm, I'm kind of not sure how that started. It's weird. I'm sure you guys are yelling at me or something. Sweet. Orbital habitat. Okay. Alright, for our next research, for my next trick... Okay, this one's great. Um, the psychology gives us um, approval, which is awesome. Uh, the assimilation is also very good. Let's you capture stuff. Plus, it's one of our cheaper technologies. The only cheaper one is this one. Although, neurotoxin bombs is something we want. So, that's good. Take it. And we will fight. Don't want auto. I'm pretty sure we would lose something. But, yeah. So, we'll begin. This guy can pretty much target the bigger, stronger ships that we don't like. Using its... Uh, yes, and that's right. As you get um, better technologies, the star bases and like battle stations and stuff like that they get stronger and stronger in terms of what they have available to them and their arsenal ah flagship that's the one we want to destroy right there so let's take a look done a little bit to its that thing oh god yeah so let's bring these guys back oh they can't back up they've got a Okay, point defense on this, um, the point defense on the starbase is pretty much amazing, I think, so, should be able to, oh, and it's got shields too, awesome, that's even better, but we should be able to do a lot because of that, to there, okay, good, shields aren't down, I couldn't tell, the red numbers usually mean, or they always mean that it's doing damage to hull. I'm just hoping it's not to our hull on the ship, but it's actually to the fighters flying around. Good. That's good to know. <laughs> and we can hopefully blast, tear this ship a new one. Before it uses our its nasty, nasty beams on us. And yeah, so we're making quick work of these guys. They declared war on us because we wouldn't declare war on our neighbors who are more or less mostly less friendly though <laughs> so there's that he's retreating coward but we should be able to destroy him like so perfect and now it's just a matter of killing a couple of dudes here and there 
with our freaking cool looking weapons. I like that. <laughs> Look at all the missiles that are chasing him. This is this is silly. Silly willy. But finally we got him. And uh I think that'll be the episode. Anyway, I've been Indy Ben. If you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, maybe even subscribe, helps me out a whole lot. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.